Так, ну ладно, можно. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> um, hi, I'm Dave Richards, um, uh, the Department of Anesthesia at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center in Cincinnati. Um, and this is the new um, Trestle Spinette uh, multi-photon laser. Um, my research interests are um, essentially the um, pre- and post-synaptic components of synaptic transmission. And um, what we're doing here is building a multi-photon um, confocal microscope in order to image neurons in um, acutely prepared brain, brain slices from um, mice. And one of the um, central projects that we're interested in is um, in collaboration with Steve Danzer of our department, um, is the development of um, epilepsy in the hippocampus. So um, it's, epilepsy is a phenomenon where you essentially have um, extremes of, of sort of excitation and synaptic transmission. And um, the sort of development of that sort of impaired circuit is not really fully understood. And um, in particular, what um, Steve's been researching for a number of years is actually the role that might be played within the hippocampus by um, newborn cells which are being born um, and then sort of as they integrate into the established circuit they sort of integrate in an abnormal way because of this um, emerging epilepsy in the circuit and so um, he's developed a model where he uses um, neurons where um, only newborn cells are labeled with uh, green fluorescent protein, so they, they glow green with, with fluorescence. And so, um, and that's done by um, targeting GFP expression to those neurons um, using um, the Craylock system with, with, a, um, uh, in a, uh, with a glee cell line, essentially, sonic hedgehog. What he's able to do is, is um, uh, label specifically newborn cells at specific birth dates and depending on the age of those cells see what their fate is as they integrate into the hippocampal circuit and so all of his um, existing research has relied on being able to essentially fix and immunostain the tissue so our collaboration is um, uh, essentially involves um, looking at these cells in living slices and so we can directly observe the sort of living cells, the full three-dimensional structure of those cells, whilst at the same time recording the um, electrophysiological characteristics of those cells. And in addition, we will be um, looking at the presynaptic terminals of those cells and looking at to see if they sort of have um, extremely high levels of, of um, synaptic um, activity. Um, in addition, this um, we've designed this microscope in order to be able to do um, photolysis of, of cage compounds. And so um, one of the other projects, which is more related to the, the central um, area of my research, is looking at um, the molecular basis of secretion in, in um, especially um, neurons. And so what we'll be doing in um, both cultured neurons and in um, PC12 cells is actually doing caged photolysis of calcium in, in, at the active zone and looking at the way in which that is then triggering the release of neurotransmitter and the properties of that secretion.